what was locker room vibe like when Colin played his first game? Was it clear they knew he'd be the starter going forward? Maybe similar to Trey. Hey, uh, I don't know if you remember it, but I was, I was, it was a candlestick. They played the Bears. Did you watch the post game press conferences? I was in them. The players were giddy. Like Vernon Davis was almost giggling. He was like, man, this guy. He compared him to Tom Brady. I don't know if you remember that. He's, he kind of throws like Tom Brady. They were giddy. I'm telling you, they were, they, I mean, and Vernon Davis was as loyal to, Alex Smith as anyone, they came up together, but they're athletes too. They got to have a recognition and respect for uh, performance. And there was no question after Colin Kaepernick did what he did that Alex just couldn't play that way at that time. Yeah. And I, I remember that game and you, that was, you know, all of a sudden once, when, when Colin Kaepernick hit the, hit the Colin Kaepernick hit the field, all of a sudden the ball's flying down the field and, and big plays are happening that we hadn't seen before, you know, as you like you're talking about, I think there was a big shot down the left sideline to, to oh, Davis yeah. early in the in, in the oh, first yeah. quarter, right at the beginning of it. I know he hit touchdown to uh, Davis. I think. Yep. He, yeah, and I know I think he hit Kyle Kyle the, Williams the return guy Kyle Williams for a deep one too. So you know he he started you know that's and that's the difference and that's what we're seeing now too, right? We've had the front have had Jimmy Garoppolo who's really worked underneath for so long, and now they've got a guy who can can really get the ball down the field on the outside, and it just changes everything about the defense. Yes, absolutely. If you remember that week, Jim Harbaugh didn't say that Colin Kaepernick was going to be the starter. And all the beat writers got it wrong and said that Alex Smith was going to be the starter. God love him. I'm sorry, but they just got it wrong. Uh, they were just, I think Harbaugh misled him a little bit. Ka uh, Alex Smith was out there at practices and he didn't have the concussion thing on and they thought he was going to play. And at the very last minute, not maybe like the day before it was announced, Alex Smith is out with a concussion. Might have been news to him. Colin Kaepernick's in. And all the the uh, narrative at the time was, well, he's not even prepared to play. They're just going to run the ball. They're going to come out and run the ball, right? And they came out throwing yeah. on the first. It was, it was like 20-yard pass, 20-yard pass, 20-yard pass, touchdown. Like, oh, <laughs> this is going to be a blowout. And they have a lot of confidence in Colin Kaepernick. Like, we had no idea. He, they didn't call plays like that for Alex Smith. And all of a sudden, Whoa, and everyone was like, wow, I like the way this feels. This is really easy. We don't have to win 13 to 7 anymore. So that's the way I remember it. Yeah, I remember if, if I remember that correctly, I think the decision actually got broke to the to the media and everything that morning, that Monday morning. That's right. And that and that and that Kaepernick had found out about it Sunday night and, and everything. And the co the quarterbacks had found out about it Sunday night. But it got broke to the national to everybody right. early Monday morning. Because I if I recall, and this is going back to the old blog, but if I you know so that yeah. you're right. That was a big. That was big news, and I remember. I remember all the talk of they're going to run the ball, they're going to all the thing, and I, and I think I remember. I remember sending you an email and saying, "I think Kaepernick's going to blow it out tonight." You did. And you, you kind did. of. I remember that. You absolutely and, did that. Yes. Yeah, and you and you said and you, and you agreed with me, and yeah. and he just came out and he you know it was a totally different situation and it just opened everything up for the front That's why they why they did so well the next two years. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's how that's how it went. That's that's the story of that. Um, yeah. Is anything else you want to say about that? No, I just I, I can see I could going back to Lance. I can see Lance having that. Lance isn't going to have that benefit of of being a surprise starter week one. But you can see, you know, based off of, if he can come out based off of what you saw of his ability to throw deep down the sidelines and stuff like that. If he can, if he is doing as well as as kind of what we've already heard, it's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be his team week one. Yeah, that's why I think he's going to take this job. I mean, he's not going to be perfect. He's going to miss some passes high, Jack. That's okay because he's going to make plays with his legs. He's going to throw some passes down the field, and he's just going to, as coaches say, flash enough in preseason that fans will fall in love. And they'll – I mean, they'll be as against Jimmy Garoppolo starting as they were against Mac Jones being the pick at three. That's my prediction. They're going to fall in love with yeah. this kid as soon as they see him. Because I've seen him. They haven't seen him yet. And the, and the players have seen him, and you hear, and the coaches have seen him. You hear how they're talking about him now. No one talks about Jimmy anymore. It's over. But you haven't <laughs> seen him yourself. So just wait till preseason. You'll be like, oh, my God, we haven't seen quarterback do anything like this since Steve Young. I don't – I mean, really, he's even more yeah. impressive than, than Colin Kaepernick athletically. Quicker release, mm -hmm. all of it. Yeah, and that whole – everything you're talking about just takes me right back to 2012 because that yeah. – you remember – you know, we hadn't really seen Kaepernick on the field at all in 2011, but in 2012, and I think it was week three of the preseason, or maybe it was even week four. I remember which one it was, but he he went out there and he absolutely obliterated the defense uh, with some extended uh, 
playing time in that. I think it was probably, I think it was the last preseason game, and people yeah. at that point got super Indeed. excited. You know, yeah. and that, and it really, really kind of that's what really set the ball in motion. And then that, I think because that, then you started seeing the packages get put in for him during the season, and and it, just, it built up until the point where they they had an opportunity to put him in, and that was it. Didn't really matter how it didn't matter that that it didn't matter that that Smith was playing some of the best football of his career when true. he got hurt. That's true. Uh, last thing I wanted to say about that was you're right. I think the news got broken the morning of the game. It was a Monday night game. And the, the local beat writers were so flabbergasted that they were led astray that the first question at the post-game press conference was from Matt Mayoko. And he said, um, Jim, can you take me through the timeline of making this decision? Because they still couldn't get their mind around what had happened. And I got the second question. And I was on SportsCenter. And I said, Jim, is Colin Kaepernick your starting quarterback going forward? That was the question. And Jim said, I believe in going with the hot hand, which is one of his most famous all-time quotes as head coach of the 49ers. Yeah. I got to ask that question. That was me, <laughs> and that was Harbaugh. So, yeah, that was, I was so happy at that moment. I was like, oh, my God, yeah, Matt that's... Mayoko just fumbled. He fumbled. Uh-huh. Hey, yeah, that's the truth. to Matt Mayoko. He's the best. But on uh-huh. that one particular moment, he fumbled, and I, I, I recovered, and I, I, I scooped it up. And scooped. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's, that's a big win. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Matt. I love you. I love you. You're way better than me at this, at this uh, profession. I'm just – I'm just giving you a hard time. All right, last one. How true.